But again, the vocal is super amazing. Yeah, yeah. Super talented guy. Nice colors. And we're coming to the most interesting part. Amazon Buren. When I chose this track, and I realized, of course, I need to talk about this track and all the people involved in this track, I was like, do I need to talk about Armin van Buren? I mean, like, everyone knows about Armin van Buren. And, and I was like, or I am going to start talking, or I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I was like, no, I'm going to start talking. <laughs> So, just a couple of facts for the ones who don't know, but I guess you all do. Uh, he is one of the biggest uh, DJs and, pr and producers in the world for more than 20 years. Uh, he was five times awarded as best DJ on DJ Mag's Top 100 list. See, he is a Grammy-nominated DJ, which is not often to happen in electronic music. He is hosting a State of Trance radio show alongside Ruben Durand which is broadcasted weekly from his own radio studio in the Armada Music Headquarter in Amsterdam to over 44 million listeners in more than 80 countries. Online via plenty of radio stations and video live streams on YouTube, Facebook and Twitch. A State of Trans has grown from a small radio show into a complete dance music brand with stages and events across the globe. Actually, the milestone number of 1,000 episodes was supposed to actually happen in January, sorry, uh, 2021, but the celebration event was supposed to happen in February, but because of the COVID situation, it was postponed a couple of times. So now we're gonna have it, I uh, hope, uh, in 2023, in February. Uh, I'm talking about the main event uh, that is happening in Utrecht, one of actually the biggest event, speaking of a state of trance uh, celebration. He does this uh, every year when uh, uh, 500, new 500 episodes are recorded. Uh, unfortunately, as I said, that event still did not happen, which is pretty sad because it was supposed to be super massive, speaking of the number of episodes he recorded. And he started with these recordings uh, in 2001. So every week, imagine that, doing a radio show oh, yeah. every week since 2001. And it's live in, in front of the camera. You know? Yeah. It's not like, yeah, hey, I'm mixed, you know? Yeah, something like that. Uh, so, uh, also, uh, what is important to mention, he is uh, the co-founder of Armada Music, uh, alongside Michael Piron and David Lewis, uh, the biggest independent dance music label in the world. So, headquarter is in Amsterdam, New York City and London. It is acclaimed internationally for releasing music across the electronic music spectrum, the sixth time the winner of the best global record label at the International Dance Music Awards in Miami. Of course, Armin is playing all around the world at the biggest festivals out there because he is one of the best still. And I think last year he was voted as number three best DJ. Again, he's always on the top over there. As I said, he was five times the best DJ, four times in a row. So let's talk a little bit about Armin. <laughs> Why Armin? Why I like this guy? Uh, is he the best DJ and producer? Mm, I don't think so. With all due respect, there are plenty of great artists out there. Uh, but hear me out. Uh, why I like him and why I think he is the best and most influential person in the industry. Because I, first of all, I admire his passion. His passion for people, for music, uh, for, for the music scene. Uh, his perfectionism, his control freak moments, because I am that kind of person, I guess. Uh, his efforts uh, to uh, that he makes every day to connect people uh, in the industry, to raise the awareness about uh, the music and the artists, uh, the newcomers and the most established ones as well. Uh, of course, I am talking mostly about trans music over here, but also progressive, all kinds of progressive, because he likes uh, to say in his show that he's playing trans and progressive. Mm -hmm. This is what <laughs> we were talking in the last show, you know, saying something is progressive. This is because he's playing a lot of different progressive tracks over there, not only progressive house. 
So uh, yes, he, of course, he has a huge team besides him, not behind him, besides him. Uh, but organizing a good team is definitely not easy. Uh, yeah. And this is why trans music is accepted more than ever everywhere around the world right now. So if you ask me, if there was no Ami Van Buren, there would be no trans, at, at least not like this. Uh, there will be no amazing artist, you know, uh, that that many With show you helping, showing promoting, yeah, exactly yeah. their potentials and skills to the world and playing at the biggest festivals. Uh, there will be actually no unique trans stages at those big festivals. So I can say that he's a, a leader. Yes, he's a workaholic for sure, uh, but he's a down to earth, a humble person, a kind person. And this is, I think, these are all the reasons why I, I like this guy. And okay, yes, he does this commercial kind of music from time to time. And people usually connect this with the money. I would, I would never say that. I, I was thinking like this five plus years ago. And then I realized I started, I started understanding music scene and the business over there a lot more. Because why would he need a lot more money? He has a lot of money, you know? <laughs> and his record label is earning a lot of money for sure. Now I will tell you why. Oh, let's okay. hear it. <laughs> it's not money about him. Like as you, said, yes, as you mentioned, there is a lot of people working with him, around him, mm -hmm. behind him, in front of him. <laughs> uh, PR that's in front of him. Manager is behind him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tour guy, this guy, the television. Uh, so a lot of people are depending of that Armin Van Buren that's brand. That's true. All right. That's it. If in one moment he wake up, you know, and said. Okay, today I'm gonna produce only trans house, like I was in back in days. A lot of people will lose their jobs. So what I'm thinking mm -hmm. that when he walks up in the morning and say, I need to be a leader. Mm -hmm. Ah, somebody will say, ah, oh, Armin is because he make these kind of checks. Mm -hmm. But he make that because all those people behind him. He knows why he yeah. does it. So yeah. in, the, in, in that manner, I, I want to say that uh, he's a very accomplished artist and he knows the value of the for for his team mm. you know and I, I think that he's not uh, selfish or egocentric because you can see that in the state of the trance and everything that what you mentioned he's doing that every week mm. you know he's there I know a lot of di artists and uh, like they're not physically there they just go ah it's uh, it's a bubble around the brand. Mm -hmm. But what I see uh, regarding about him is that he's he's there. So, yeah, I will do that as the same. I don't care who say about my music and stuff, but mm. I'm f I'm putting a lot of food on the table. That's the <laughs> truth, but I'm going I'm going to just uh, correct you a bit. Speaking of that, as you said, I mean, a record label that he that he runs earns a lot of money because a lot of those producers out there that make this kind of music more than him, for sure. But how do I see actually this and him? Uh, he, he likes to experiment, first of all, and he talked about this. And he has this problem where he wants to satisfy every person on the planet. He's really like... That's he's, crazy. <laughs> no, he's totally crazy, speaking of that, which is, of course, impossible, you know. And he talked about this in his documentary, I think, nine years ago. And where he said at some point, and this is really important uh, part, uh, I'm spending 90% of my time with the people who in 10 years won't remember me. Yeah. They will be cheering someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is why it is really important that we pay attention to the closest one to us, you know, to our family, the closest friends, our partners, and so on and mm -hmm. so on, because this is the only thing that is true and honest in this story, whatever you're doing. Ah. <laughs> so. I can agree, but uh, I think it's, I never been there or tried that, but I, I think n n not even one person can imagine the, the things that he's dealing 
on the on the daily level. Oh, yeah. Right? You should you should watch so, that doc- documentary. Yeah. It's so I heard about one se- um, one quote from a few days ago. Mm-hmm. I was talking with my friend and he said, uh, "Oh, he has the money. He doesn't have a stress." <laughs> okay, N- not not regarding this, but then uh, the guy answered, "Yeah, I don't have the stress. I'm living good and I have money and everything, but I have." 1000 stress 1000 problems because i have 1000 employees so if just one and every of them comes with the problem i have 1000 problems mm-hmm. i'm living with that i don't have the problem because i accomplished the but i have their problems mm-hmm. so i think it's very hard to wake up with all this pressure on mm-hmm. your shoulders you know what if somebody happened to me what if uh, maybe you will be forgotten maybe uh, 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 uh. Of course, you cannot wake up with that stress uh, all the time, but it, it's very hard to imagine and to feel in 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 the, in the skin of those people. You know, that's a good point. I, I think when he mentioned that he wants to satisfy everyone over there, I yeah. think he didn't mean only speaking of his fans, yeah, yeah. the people who depend. Yes, he, he that that just he will, uh, he will be there for them. Yeah, exactly. Mm just need him there mm. in their life so, okay uh so why i don't have anything against commercial kind of music nowadays if you ask me this five plus years ago i would definitely say something completely different uh but then i of course got into this more deeply and started understanding uh, how this industry actually works and all the artists out there so uh making a track commercial doesn't mean it is bad Making a genre more commercial uh, doesn't mean it is bad. If you're keeping the origins, like Armin van Buren does, and if you're playing real trance mostly, and if you're choosing where you're gonna play exact style, subgenre or genre, that means you know what you're doing and why you're doing it. This is how I see it. So the commercial track just means you will gain more followers, for sure potentially more fans because there is a difference between fans and followers just to make this clear um so those fans that could be introduced easier to what you really want to show and play you know simple as that this is what also happened with side trends and this is what i talked uh, with zeiss in, in one of my shows that's right, you know, right now happening in melodic techno as well yeah you're just making it in more techno, commercial. Well. In one moment, it was too mainstream, you know. Yeah. More commercial. I mean, you, this is the way you, you can uh, make it closer to to the crowd. Yeah. Just to make, the just if if you make them inter- more the interested in that yeah, music, yeah. you can after that do whatever you want to do. Yeah, but then uh, uh, new genres are creating, and there are yeah. new artists are creating. Mm-hmm. Then uh, new producers are. St- searching for some new sounds and because of that other things are evolving you know Mm -hmm. so if there was no trance there is no techno if there is no techno there is not going to be progressive if there is no progressive there is not going to be deep house if there is no deep house there is going to be organic Mm. (laughs) right Mm -hmm. so organic started as a trance Mm. (laughs) no (laughs) no no, but (laughs) you see how now some people are have some people are having their their money growing on the trees of organic mm. because somebody wants to step out from the let's say trends ah, i don't want to do that let's i will make a new genre for me and a lot so, of artists yeah yeah, yeah. Like so that. when commercial stuff comes in mm. something new is born for yeah. some other people that don't like to be in commercial way because it's not easy to be in commercial way That's the true. money the stress the, the traveling mm. the touring the, the management somebody just wants to be but again, you know, th- this this genre, for example, is, I would never say it is commercial. Okay, Ami Van Buren, for example, and a few other artists as well, sometimes make commercial tracks. But, you know, as long as you have other kinds of real trance music over there, I don't see the problems over there. Uh, you know? Okay, yeah. <laughs> because always there's going to be uh, people sort of arguing yeah. and choosing always, sides. Always, always. So yeah. you cannot... Yeah, I'm. I'm trying not to go in there. No, I was there, but I. I, never I left that place. Thank hey, God. I like her, but oh, I like uh, I don't know this yeah. guy. I like Telovas. Oh, I like Solomon. Yeah. yeah. 
For me, everyone are commercial, very commercial. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you're, for me, if you're asking a five star hotel, then you are kind of the mainstream. If you are asking me to sleep at uh, at my house, then you are underground, <laughs> right? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally, yeah. So if I'm going somewhere to play, I say, hey, bro, give me some room, you know, just give me a bed, you know, we're going to be after parties 40 hours, you know, uh, that's for me underground. That's no, I'm not asking you for a five star hotel and 50 euros a meal, you know, mm -hmm. so I think it's a this different kind of the what's commercial what you what you're selling you know but uh, show business is too too big mm. i think it's too big so if you want to be uh, you can be still uh, underground dance electro pop maybe maybe, maybe. Mm. Maybe. I'm, not ah, sure. ah. uh, i'm not sure i'm not sure there is a problem <laughs> there is a catch <laughs> there is a, yeah but they, they they are choosing to be there because they want to be commercial exactly exactly, so. exactly. Yeah. why money yeah Whoosh. that's true. streaming stuff da, 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 bam, 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 that's bam. True. all those numbers that's that true. you're reading somebody can even imagine mm -hmm. you cannot imagine that numbers mm -hmm. but there is so many people on spotify there's so many people on youtube You know, mm -hmm. like one cat can fall from the, you know, from the ceiling mm -hmm. and one million views. Mm -hmm. And I'm making a track <laughs> six months, you know, I like have 200 <laughs> views, you know, so yeah. <laughs> some cat is well, more popular than my track. It is your choice again. <laughs> again, it's everything is uh, how you promote it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, for example, I mean, I'm a Van Buren similar artist like that. I mean, if you see him playing at a big festival, at main stage, You're gonna hear a lot of different mm -hmm. kinds of tracks over there. Mm -hmm. and this is what I don't yeah, yeah. like, to be honest. But I mean, it's okay, I guess. But if you hear him play, for example, at specific trance event, you're gonna hear yeah, trance yeah. only trance. Yeah, you know. If you can manage because crowd wants yeah, to yeah, hear. Yeah. If you can manage stuff. that, that yeah. people uh, in the crowd they they can say, oh, I'm expecting that. You know, mm -hmm. then it's. Mm -hmm. Good way. And again, this is the, the perfect explanation why he's doing it. I mean, at the biggest festivals out there, he okay, he plays commercial as well for sure, but he also plays trance. Mm -hmm. So he introduced people yeah, who yeah. doesn't follow his origins, let's call it that way, uh, at those festivals. Yeah. Know? So. So okay, I'm gonna <laughs> close uh, this topic and just with this uh, great uh, sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of his passion, so he said once, and I'm always repeating this, I also have this on my Instagram profile, so it is not love for music, it's a passion, and it goes beyond liking and beyond a hobby. It is about a way of living, music is essential for my life. So I think everyone who is in this industry, like seriously in this industry, and expecting a lot from it, feels this way it's a way of living yeah way of living it's a way <laughs> all right 